Good day kids! Welcome to AE YouTube channel. So we are about to go through the astronomical objects that we can find in the universe. So fasten your seatbelt and listen well. Hello kids! Now let's talk about planetary system. Fun fact, our planetary system is named the solar system because our sun is named Sol, after the Latin word for sun, Solus, and anything related to the sun we call solar. A planetary system is a set of gravitationally bound star-like objects in or out of orbit around a star or a star system. The sun, together with the planets revolving around it, including Earth, is known as the solar system. Since the 1990s, scientists have found many planetary systems beyond our solar system. One or more planets revolve around a star, just like our nine planets revolve around our sun. These planets are called extrasolar planets. Hi kids, my name is Kuya Bench and I'm here to talk about star clusters. Fun fact, there are two types of star clusters, commonly known as the galactic cluster, commonly known as the star cluster, and the globular cluster. So a galactic cluster is a group of a few hundred or thousands of stars that have roughly the same age and were formed from the same giant molecular cloud. More than 1,100 open clusters have been discovered within the Milky Way galaxy and more of the other exist. Open clusters are generally survived for a few hundred million years, with the most massive ones surviving a few billion years. A globular cluster is a group of stars with similar age. Gravity holds the clusters together and gives them this circular shape. Globular clusters are fairly common. There are about 150 known globular clusters within the Milky Way galaxy. Have you ever wondered of space clouds? Fun fact, space clouds exist and they are also known as star nurseries. Giant cloud of dust and gas in space where new stars begin to form are also known as star nurseries or nebulae. In single form, it is called nebula. Some nebulae come from the gas and dust thrown out by the explosion of the dying star, such as supernova. Planetary nebula is usually from the death of a low mass star, and the remnants will eventually from another star. Now, this dust and gas embodiment of nebula is mostly hydrogen and helium. They are very spread out because of gravity. This dust and gas become even more clump. So as it gets bigger, the force gravi of gravity gets stronger. By this strong force, nebula will eventually collapse, forming a star. Nebulae are found in space between the stars called the inter interstellar space. So we are going to talk about galaxy or galaxy. So you have probably heard of that word by your science teacher or your parents. So fun fact about galaxy, it is derived from the word galaxias, which means milky. And its reference is from our very own universe, the Milky Way. The simply put, galaxies are huge collections of matter, possibly dark matter, gases, dust, stars that are all bound together by gravity and all these things creates planet and planet also make up galaxies or so we think so all of these things are vital in making up galaxies galaxies of million of stars that's a pretty small speck of an area in our universe so i told you this is fascinating stuff and always remember galaxies are essential for the universe and are kind of accepted to be just there so we need to get to know them and what part they play in our wonderful universe Oh, hello there kids! I am Kuya Jasper, and I'm gonna summarize all of the things that your Ate and Kuya told you earlier. But before we begin, I have a fun fact for you. So, did you know that those four things that your Ate and Kuya told you are part of the universe? So, if you thought so, then you're right. You see, all the space, including its time and their contents, which are the planets, the stars, the galaxies, and all the matter and energies are part of the universe. So, we human beings are also part of the universe, for we are living on a planet called Earth. Hi kids! Thank you for listening to our YouTube video, and I hope that you've learned something from it. And always remember that no matter how big the universe is, we are always going to be part of it. 